Today is part three of Jamie Vardy Cloned. It's funny how I was expecting this to just be a one-off amusing video where Vardy would completely fail, but after part one and part two, we're still here going really, really strong with a team of Jamie Vardy's. He is a versatile character, an aggressive character I may add, but he's versatile and we're doing extraordinarily well with Jamie Vardy. Uh, with 18 Jamie Vardy's and one Kasper Schmeichel in the team. If you haven't checked out part one and two, please check them, them out first. You know what this is all about. And hit the like button on this video as well. All the support is much appreciated as ever. So today we're going to take on Man United and Spurs in the Premier League. It's a top of the table clash. The league is looking rather odd, I must add. A bit like real life, I guess. Uh, but Man United are currently top, which in itself is odd. Let's... Let's be honest there. Uh, two points clear of me. I'm in second place. We have the chance to go top today if we can beat Man United. Then Watford in third. Spurs fourth. Norwich up in fifth doing really well. And then you've got Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City, West Ham, Chelsea. They're all behind. It's very close though as you can see there. So it could all change today uh, and very quickly. There's been a lot of manager movements with Everton. They've gone through their managers really suffering. Chelsea also have uh, changed manager a couple of times as well. So recently, we've, we've done very well. We lost 2-0 uh, in the last video against Arsenal, you remember, and we beat Everton 3-0. But since then, we then drew against West Brom, bit disappointing, but we beat Sunderland 2-0 in the Premier League and then beat them in, on penalties in the Capital One Cup before beating Palace 3-2. Swansea 3-1 thanks to Ashley Williams scoring a couple of own goals. We then managed to beat Chelsea 1-0. Really, really good win there away from home. 0-0 draw against Watford. Last three games been a bit disappointed. We, we crashed out of the Capital One Cup. A cracking game. We lost 3-2 against Arsenal. Uh, Walcott with a couple goals. And we drew 1-1 against high-flying Norwich as well at home. But I'm picking up so many red cards and yellow cards against Arsenal. Right, let's look at this. Nine Jamie Vardy's got yellow cards. That is just insane. Unbelievable. I'm surprised we didn't get a red card in that game, but nine yellow cards is just ridiculous. Look at the team, red cards wise. Jamie Vardy, number three, has got three red cards and seven yellow cards this season. He's one of the centre backs. They just don't really know how to play an, as a centre back. And when they pick up a yellow, they're still going in and being aggressive and trying to win the ball back and inevitably getting red cards. But you can see lots of red cards, lots of yellow cards going on as well. If I filter, there's only four Jamie, well, three Jamie Vardy's and Kasper Schmeichel haven't got a yellow card this season. Everyone else has at least picked up one, but multiple yellow cards. We've had so many suspensions, few injuries, but only niggling injuries. I think um, Jamie Vardy, 14, is just coming back from a five week layoff. He was really, really good actually. But the real hero so far this season is the box to box midfielder, Jamie Vardy, six, got called up to the England team because of his incredible performances in central midfield. He is a natural born box to box midfielder. Forget Kante. Leicester don't need Kante. They just need a Jamie Vardy clone to play in central midfield. So if Kande, Kante gets bought out by someone like PSG, which probably will happen at some point, just stick Jamie Vardy in midfield. He is a natural born box to box midfielder. He's been incredible. Hasn't scored any goals from this position, but his average rating is insane. He's just really good with uh, like every sort of attribute that is required for box to box midfielder. He's very, very good at. He's actually gone up to four stars compared to the rest of the team. And he did get called up to the England team. The original Jamie Vardy hasn't been called up to the England team, but has got broken back into the team after having a couple games out because he's in poor form, but he's now playing and on the left hand side of the strike force and we've got JB Vardy number 11 on the right so let's get on with this game against Man United then we haven't won for three games this is going to be very tough against top of the table Man United who are flying away well only two points clear it's very tight but they haven't lost a single game this season so it's going to be very very difficult to beat them we're almost at the halfway point of the season now and we're in the top four it's like real life we actually have the chance to win the league and get a Champions League place and if we do then you know I'll probably continue for another season try and see how we get on in the Champions League with a team of Jamie Vardy's no one's really running away with the uh, top goal scorer accolade obviously Jamie Vardy is top scorer top assists and uh, top 
player of the season, I'm sure, as well. And it'd be funny if Schmeichel gets player of the season, actually, after all this. But Jamie Vardy, the original, is the top scorer of seven goals this season. Everyone else is... So they've certainly been shared around. And what were we doing at the back there, defence-wise? Rojo, 1-0. We've only lost two games in the league. Three games all season. It's going to be tough to win this one. But that's the thing. We, we're not... We do make some mistakes at the back. Like, no one decided to mark Rojo. We've only... All the players have only got three on marking, I think. So that's the problem. Trying to boost some of the defenders, though. Uh, this this could be tough today. We might get a thrashing from Man United. And, oh, so we get lucky. Just a little bit frustrating that we're not scoring as many goals as I thought we would. The defence is surprisingly good. We make the odd mistake, but... Considering they're not natural defenders, they're doing really, really well. It's ridiculous, really. But we haven't had any opportunities in this game yet. Daily Blind, Intermenthus, Depay, Herrera, lovely ball, and that's 2 0 Massa. They've only had one clear cut chance. We've had two, and here it could be 3 0 to them. No, we've headed it away well there. Close down, guys. I've told you to close down. The work rate is pretty phenomenal of, from Jamie Vardy most of the time. But here, a Man United with the opportunity maybe to make it three before half time. Uh oh, Mata, good save. Good save. <laughs> Double save by Schweichel. Another corner whipped in. Good header away by Jamie Vardy, number six, the box to box midfielder. Okay, I'm going to say I'm disappointed so far. And we're going to have to go attacking. Is this a chance? Come on, please score. We'd, we're unsuccessful in the last episode against Arsenal. Looks like we're going to be unsuccessful against Man United now. Hopefully, we can defeat Spurs because. If we want to keep our top four challenge alive, we're going to have to beat teams like Spurs. Here go United again. This is dangerous. And that's 3-0. This is going to be my worst defeat of the season against top of the table Man United. Good stuff from the original. Into number six. Can he find someone? Number ten. Oh, just finish it. Come on, guys. Whipped in. Oh, it's in the back of the net. <laughs> We're back in the game. Number 10 scores. Get back to the halfway line. Stop celebrating. Okay. 30 minutes to try and get back into this, but perhaps it's a bit too much for us to get back into this. Two more goals required. Here's... Oh, lovely ball over the top. Number 6, the box-to-box -box midfielder out wide. Ugh. But here's the left-back storming forwards. This is lovely play. Recycling possession. Oh, you had to score that. That was a massive opportunity. Oh! <laughs> I just was... I forgot that I was commentating. I literally forgot I was recording. We're back in the game. 3-2. Unbelievable. Number 8. Whips it in. And number 12. I was daydreaming there. Number 12. The substitute scores. We're back in this. Unbelievable stuff. If we'd only taken one of our chances earlier on we're going to we're going to go for this we're going to pump it up the pitch actually we'll just play the same way we're playing because we're actually doing really well but we're going to go overload and go take more risks and just try and get this third goal of 10 minutes to go this is an opportunity a corner oh it's another corner these short corners not really working that well but oh this is an opportunity no another corner Come on, guys. Get This will be an, a magnificent comeback. It's all the way back to number 17. Oh, straight at the keeper. Oh, so unlucky. The highlight's still going, in fact. But Man United are breaking with matter. Uh-oh. Mendes Depay finishes us off. It's 4-2. I'm going to say unlucky, because we were. We're unlucky not to get back into that. So we're still second in the table, though. But five points off the top. It looks like Man United could perhaps run away with this unbeaten after 16 games so it's time for the Spurs game now I didn't actually mention that in the last match I was having to play two players out of position well they're all playing out of position really but I had a couple of players that I was training as fullbacks in central defense my all three of my center backs I'm well all three Jamie Vardy's I'm training up to be center backs were either suspended or injured but four and 15 are back so they're going to be in central defense we've got two and 18 at fullback. Uh, the rest of the team is staying the same, I think. So wish me luck. Hopefully, we, hopefully my defence will hold out a bit better now we've got actual players that have been trained up as centre back. They're still dreadful at centre back, but you know what I mean. I'm 
I'm ready. Start match. Gone back to counter. Maybe attack. I mean, the last four games I've gone attacking and we've not won a single game. So perhaps counter is the best option here. It's boring so far. But here we are on the ball. Number six over the top. Oh, this is an opportunity. Okay, this, this is really a must win game because I think Spurs are fourth or near. Oh, Chadley with the goal. Bloody hell, what's going wrong? The, suddenly the wheels have fallen off the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, but not anymore, not anymore. Well, that was a frustrating first half. We didn't do anything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be aggressive. They look frustrated, but hopefully motivated now after my aggressive team talk. What do we do? I'm going to exploit the right flank because we always get good crosses in from the right. Get stuck in as well. It gets a few more yellow cards that way, but may help us win the ball back. It's snowing! Ah, It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's nearly Christmas on the save. Not in real life. Unless you're watching at Christmas time. Hello to future people out there. Today could be a couple of losses then. Damn it, episode three. You failed me. 30 minutes to get back into this. But here goes Spurs. Oh no, not another penalty. Yes, I'm, I have a tea towel. Don't ask. Ugh, Schmeichel saved about three penalties this season though. So there's, there's hope here. Come on. Save Kane's penalty. Oh, straight down the middle. Oh, I don't like today. I thought this was going to be a, a cracking episode where we could actually go top of the table. But it's all gone wrong. Vardy has let me down. He's certainly not having a Christmas party. Imagine that. 18 Vardys at a Christmas party. Oh, Spurs have a free kick. It's three. What is wrong with us today? Musa Sissoko. They must have signed him. I can turn this around though. I'm sure I can. We can still get a top four place with, with Leicester City and Jamie Vardy. Here's Vardy, the original. Why are you just standing still? Go after it. Today's a write-off. Here goes, uh, who's that? Kane, running clear. Oh, well done, Schmeichel, preventing a fourth. Oh, and this is the end. Well, this is how I thought it would be, like, every game. So, for it not to be like this every game, we've, we've done relatively well. I'm going to say I'm far from pleased today, because that was pathetic. Against Man United, we put up a fight. We're down to third, one point behind Spurs. It's very tight, as you can see there. And now we've lost four games this season. I need to turn. I need to do something to turn this around because we've not won in five games. There's a problem, so I will rectify that problem. And in episode four, we will be back on track. I'll probably show. I'll probably go through to somewhere around here. Maybe I could show Man City, Arsenal, but I don't want to show two more defeats. I want to show us winning. So maybe Southampton and Man City. That's probably a more sensible option. We can beat Southampton, I reckon, and I reckon we can do well against Man City. Because we've already beaten them once this season. And Arsenal are just annoying. They've beat me twice already. So yeah, had enough of them. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button if you're enjoying the series. Bit of a setback today. But we can get back on track in episode 4. I'll see you then guys. Wow. What was that? I don't know.